Politics is not entertainment where you go, where you have a bunch of like different actors in the politics sphere that you like. Like, I like Bastiat. I like Destiny. I like Vouch. No, dipsh. That's not what politics is about, you stupid f face. It's about trying to exercise power. And my politics is a socialist politics, which means I want to exercise power for the benefit of the worker, the disenfranchised, the minority, the poor. If you go into mutual aid stuff, that I is inherently close, yeah. a very local mm -hmm. action. If I go yes. and do a mutual aid Correct. shit, yes. my audience will go from thousands of people to 50 people. What? Because... They're going to all be in their own communities doing local actions and not doing anything that's oriented towards national politics. Imagine missing the point of every single political movement in the history of your entire life so succinctly in one sentence. I can't even imagine a more perfect sentence to show how misaligned your priorities are if your goal is actual political power. Why would I want to do mutual aid when it would spur all of my viewers on to actually do better in all of their communities? I'd lose all of my audience. I'd have no money. Like, how perfect is this? It is the most perfect sentence I've ever seen in my life for somebody to just out themselves as being not in politics for power, but just for entertainment purposes. What? This is a defeating... And also, can we be real? What? Who's going to turn... Can you show me... I think Lucius Fox or whatever is the guy. Even he realizes how stupid this is. Mutual what? aid streamers? Of people that just sit there discussing mutual aid all day. What are you talking about? You can do it. You can diversify your content. You can talk about more than just that. Yep. What? Pepe La D was quote organizing canvassing in in Georgia, right? And in, in a desperate attempt to reform his image, Destiny unloaded a couple thousand, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars to do a cam implying my image needs reforming implying that would even reform my image and implying there weren't a million other things that I would do if I was trying to reform my image otherwise but missing operation now if he had just come to me a man I with no organizing experience that he didn't need to spend all that money and he was being scammed unfortunately for him he doesn't know anything about politics and so he was as far as I know scammed although I hear he maybe got a refund Whoever refunded Destiny is a dumbass. Never refund uh, a piece of shit like Destiny. <laughs> uh, but anyway, he didn't know anything. And he Just fuck over like all the people working beneath me and fuck over everybody else it had to do. Hmm. Ah, feels good. Nice. He got scammed. And for the most part, what I saw, they didn't do much actual work. I think they have en ended up having one good couple days where they had a f like 100 or so volunteers, uh, which is solid for one day um, and over the course of the whole state of Georgia. Why would you belittle? I don't understand why, <clears throat> like the thing that sucks the most too is that Mike doesn't realize all the people that he catches in the crossfire on this. I am super proud of all the people that came out to actually do like real shit. And I'm really proud of the people that came out in Omaha and continue to do it too, even though the weather is fucking horrible. Um, why would you demean like all of their efforts just because you're trying to take pot shots at me? Like you're shitting on every single like young person that is interested in politics, wants to get out and actually do something to make a difference. Like how fucking pathetic are you? Like what a fucking loser you must be to like shit all over the efforts of like all those people. Jeez. It's basically a rounding error uh, for the total, um, you know, field operation. That's not true though. Our canvas operations for those three days were probably the largest in the state. I don't know how that can be a rounding error, but okay, Mike. And they were definitely the largest outside of Atlanta for and at least two different occasions, if not all three. But you know what? It's good. He went out in the real world and he tried to do something for the first time of his life. So you know what? Golf clap. Two cheers for Pepe Ladi. Two cheers for Pepe Ladi. You did something in the real world once. Two cheers for you. How was he scammed? He like hired some guy from his community and gave him like nine grand for like two weeks worth of work. And then the guy didn't even do any work. One of the things that happened while he was trying to do that work is he attacked the Metro Atlanta. Keep in mind, by the way, <clears throat> this whole rant is about to be spurred on because he saw a tier list that put me ahead of him. And now he's ultra ass mad. That's the whole reason, by the way. 
this ran a spur and on. a DSA. Now that's the local chapter there in Georgia's largest DSA. And he said that they had wasted his time and jerked him around and they were LARPing lefties who don't do anything in the real world and all sorts of other shit. Although it's the Metro Atlanta DSA inherently doing things in the real world, you fucking idiot. That's not true. That's not what the Metro Atlanta DSA does. <clears throat> That's why that if you saw the pictures around the election time, they had like four white dudes that said they were putting literature on people's fucking dashboards. Not to demean their efforts. I mean, that's nice. But to try and make it sound like this is some massive fucking entity or organization or whatever, fuck off, Mike. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You're way out of your league, okay? That's why it's geographically based. And geographically based means they're doing a lot of work? <laughs> what? He cooked up this whole witch hunt about the Metro Atlanta DSA. And he ended up getting so owned by the entire internet. By the end of it, he was taking the LSAT on his stream because respectable lawyer had so thoroughly owned him. And he was like, oh my God, I can't believe people who've been to a law school. Uh, uh, they, 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 they keep. This is a very uh, interesting retelling of events, but okay. I think Generous Lawyer was the guy that was crying that people were making Bernie Sanders memes that didn't actually vote for him. And he had a massive breakdown like three days ago over this. But I definitely got owned by this guy so hard that he bullied me into taking the uh, LSAT. All right. Owning me. Mike from PA, respectable lawyer. They keep owning me. I, I need to take the LSAT and show how easy it is to take the LSAT. He proceeded to take the easiest section of the LSAT with the answer key. And he scored a score so low you could only get into what's known as a third-tier toilet. So basically, you couldn't be a lawyer that ha actually would get hired if you had the LSAT score. And by the way, the easiest section, you know, the LSAT is, you don't just get to take one section and go, I can, I'd say that's my whole score. I think on that section of the LSAT, mm -hmm. I got one or two questions wrong. How can you be so mad? Also, why would you brag about what you did on the LSAT when you didn't even take the bar, which has like an 80% pass rate? Like, not to mention he probably sat down and his mom and dad helped him study for this for like six months. <laughs> if we're being real. The funny thing is, you know what? Mike can take his LSAT score. I'll take my LSAT score. We've litigated the same number of cases throughout our entire legal careers. How about that one, huh? Meanwhile, he got like 12 wrong. Dude, you will never get into a law school with a 145, which is what the trajectory of the score you were actually on. Um, anyway. Wait, isn't the max LSAT score like 180 or one, is it 170 or 180? <clears throat> you could probably get into some shitty schools at 135. I'm pretty sure you could. Not the best, but. Um. So while we were all making fun of him, there was something weird that happened. Uh-oh. A couple people rushed to Destiny's defense to help attack the Atlanta DSA. They were bosh and cringe political posts. And I was like, what? And somebody in the Atlanta DSA, after Destiny... It really sucks how this cuck has a career here leeching off your image. What else has he actually done? Um, apparently Hassan hosts him a few times. And then he's got, like, two huge Oilers. I think, like, 80% of his subs are gifted. Somebody can, um... Somebody can go check the stats on that. It's insane. There's, like, two people that keep this guy's career flowing. It's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, this was the, uh, respectable lawyer guy. This I think this is a couple weeks ago. I'm sorry. Time is going very, uh, fast and slow for me. This guy was unironically getting upset that people were sharing the Bernie meme, even though they didn't vote for him. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. Oh, man. I, by the way, I take the L here. I could be wrong. I don't think this guy is an actual lawyer. Or if he is, I think he's like a fucking paralegal that works at a law firm somewhere. Or lawyers have way more fucking free time than I thought, because this guy spends a lot of time on fucking Twitter. I don't think this guy actually litigates anything of value. I think he's either a paralegal or he's like some fucking street lawyer dude that is like a public defender and that's all he does. I, I don't believe this guy like does anything that, that he says he does, but. He had launched this huge attack on Atlanta DSA and all his, his supporters, his viewers had. My huge attack, by the way, um, my huge attack was literally just the one thing that I said on stream because I was irritated.
but we can pretend that it was a huge attack, I guess, if that makes them feel better. Rush to attack DSA online. They were like, we didn't want to work with him, and we were very polite about it. But yeah, I shouldn't say public defenders. Public defenders, depending on where you work, is probably a shit. Just probably you're probably working a ton. Yeah. Yes, we are happy we didn't work with a fascist because everyone became. A, they had Google Destiny and found his mow down dipshit protesters. Why? Excuse me. I don't want to misquote him. He supports. Destiny supports white redneck militias mowing down dipshit protesters, unquote. Why would he say? Why would he say he doesn't want to misquote me and then go on specifically to not fully quote me? Why would he, why would he do this? Also, does he have my fucking lines memorized? Holy shit. Oh, this too. This guy is fucking funny. Like many, I have watched you and your festering obsessions on this site as you malign and harass some of the sweetest people on the goddamn planet, all caught up in some righteous cultural crusade and internet esoterica that you misunderstand to the point of abject embarrassment. For that reason alone, you deserve every bit of ridicule you get. But the fact that you preach and pontificate and pour judgmental scorn while reaping bourgeois happiness, providing brain power and service of objectively anti-labor practices is what make you so hard to stomach. Oh my God. Can you feel your brain wrinkling? Um, and they had said, oh, he's a fascist then. They'd be like, there's no fucking way. We're glad we didn't work with a fascist. Remember, a fascist is somebody that you don't like, by the way. Destiny, this is such a weird retelling also because you were pretty charitable to the Metro Atlanta DSA after all this. Said the misunderstanding was on you and that you didn't blame them for not wanting to work with you. I don't know. Yeah, I was actually. I said that a million times actually. I was like, yeah, I, I wouldn't have expected them to ever. I was just irritated that they called me a Nazi on Twitter, which I think is fair. But... <clears throat> And all of Pepe Le D's, uh supporters and, and Vausch's supporters rushed to Destiny's defense and went, wow, oh, that's so cringe to call him a fascist, blah, 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 blah. And I had replied, it's appropriate hyperbole for what they have seen. <laughs> I don't think it's crazy to use that in, in relation, especially oh, to yeah. that. I saw people post this. This comes up later in the in the <laughs> this comes up later in the video. When he types in reddit.com, I'm the first recommendation because he visits my subreddit the most. <laughs> oh no. Rent this is like some actual rent free shit. God damn. Oh my goodness. Take about mowing down dipshit protesters, right? In the streets. Um and so cringe political posts here had tweeted about it. He, he screen capped my reply and posted it like, look at this cringe tweet. And you know what happened? All of their followers started owning them. Their own followers were like, this is not cringe. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're a fucking loser. He's totally right. And so it. It got uh, imagine caring so much. God, I hope I never get to this level. If I'm shitposting on Twitter, it's because fucking Twitter is for shitposting. But imagine somebody's like, how did yesterday go? Yesterday was awesome. I got into a fight with this guy, and other people on Twitter started owning him. He got totally owned. He got ratioed. He got owned so hard on Twitter, it was amazing watching it happen. He got fucking owned on Twitter. Like, okay. Got flipped and reversed. I didn't even have to do anything. It got flipped and reversed on them. And I came across it later and I was laughing because, again, he didn't at me. He just screen capped my shit like a little cowardly rat. And so I had come back later and tweeted it. So I remember. Like a cowardly rat. <clears throat> um, keep in mind that Mike dodged debating me for months and months, saying that he wanted me to gift him 200 subs in order to debate him, by the way. Remember that. So when I saw this tier list, it's like unbearable Mike from PA. Destiny is excellent. I was like, what? And Vouch, I was like, what is this? What is this tier list? And then it went, ping. Oh, I know why this person hates me. I remembered it. And my great memory kicked in. And uh, let's see. Top reply. Well, uh, second top reply. The other one is Vouch saying good list. Interesting. 
top reply i was like oh i remember this account you said it was cringe when i called out destiny and your own followers owned you lmao 802 likes now i can tell you something chat i don't 802 likes guys i totally owned him because i got 802 likes I don't do this well on my replies okay my replies to tweets typically get like 10 to 50 likes, okay? My the reason why this got more engagement, Mike, tweet. is because it showed up on your feed because you retweeted your own fucking tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you retweeted your own tweet. We can see it. It's on the screen, you dumb fuck. Oh my god usually get between like 200 and 500 likes that's decent engagement i'm a smaller twitter account i post earnest tweets not jokes so i'm doing pretty well on twitter that's fine to get 802 likes on a reply is hilarious as meanwhile the ma <laughs> oh no he was he didn't rehearse this <laughs> he thought he had more He thought he had more. He just realized it. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you see what he's going to... Meanwhile, the main one only got 100 likes. I need to fucking... Account. I post earnest tweets, not jokes. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well on Twitter. That's fine. To get 802 <laughs> likes on a reply is hilarious. As Meanwhile, the main... <laughs> and then <laughs> I post it. Then he apparently deleted the tweet. This is the it was this was my reply to the original Destiny tweet, which was suck my dick, keep defending a fascist shit stain. Now apparently they had deleted the tweet. And then I said, yeah, it's so hilarious to all the all the wash all the Vosh stand specialty accounts also begging for Pepe Ladi's favor. I mean, these are accounts created by literal children, so it's not a surprise. Also, I'd like to make a, a, a an offer to cringe political posts. Xavier online. If you are 25 years or older, 25 years old or older, I will PayPal you fifty dollars. You are a child. By the way, if this is the way you approach politics. Please do not watch my stream. Please do not watch my stream. Paul now, <clears throat> Mike is unironically being based here. Because if your approach to politics is taking tier lists seriously, you probably shouldn't watch political streams. You have an unhealthy engagement with the topic. Now, I have a feeling that's not what Mike is saying, but he's almost right. <laughs> politics is not entertainment where you go, where you have a bunch of like different actors in the politics sphere that you i like how mike says this yet he will viciously dmca videos out there of him literally saying that politics is entertainment to him that he refuses to engage at local levels because there wouldn't be high viewership doing it like like i like bastiat i like destiny i like vouch no dipshit that's not what politics is about you stupid fuck face it's about trying to exercise power. How does Mike do that again? And my politics is a socialist politics, which means I want to exercise power for the benefit of the worker, the disenfranchised. Oh, he tried to read that one docs list of like the 80 year old strike breakers a long time ago, I guess. That's kind of like, <clears throat> that's kind of like doing something, I guess. He ran for office that one time when he lied about being a lawyer. I guess that kind of, he helped, I'm sure he helped the, the opposition there, I guess. I don't know if that's what he means by that, but. It's funny also how like, we went from, look at how owned this guy is from the number of likes that I got. And then his next sentence is, politics is about the pursuit of real world power, especially enacting a socialist change in the world. This is exactly what I'm trying to do. Anyway, look at this guy getting ratioed on Twitter. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Fuck, I gotta watch the one thing one more time. Hold on, we're at 8.30, 8.43. Oh my god, hold on, I'm sorry. This was just too good. Then I said, yeah, it's so hilarious to all the... Also begging for Pepe Ladi... So it's not... Oh god.
Fuck. Where was it? What? Oh, oh there was. There was. Two likes and a reply is hilarious. As meanwhile, the mi- <laughs> And then. <laughs> that should be a dono sound, dude. Oh my god. All right, sorry. Okay. Going back. It's about trying to exercise power. By the way, the biggest point where uh, Mike could exercise power is the local level, which he says he doesn't want to because it's not money in it. So much irony here, but yeah. Fuck, does anybody have that video? Because he keeps, he's on stream admitting it, but he keeps DMCAing it anytime it comes up. He even DMCAs the streamables. If anybody has it, it'd be funny to uh, go over that again. Destiny here. Oh shit, we have um, we have a non dmca clip. Uh oh, hurry up before he gets to it. Involved in the process. Seems like that might be more fruitful than having another one of these uh, discussions that does nothing. Okay. The reason why people organize around presidential elections is because they get uh -huh. tens of billions of dollars of free media. It's a Social unifying media. it's a unifying yes. arg it's a unifying election that everybody in the entire country knows about and it gives us a common language that we can reach more and more people. If you go into mutual aid stuff, that I is inherently close, yeah. a very local mm -hmm. action. If I go yes. and do mutual aid Correct. shit, yes. my audience will go from thousands of people to 50 people. What? Because they're going to all be in their own communities doing local actions and not doing anything that's oriented towards national politics. Imagine missing the point of every single political movement in the history of your entire life so succinctly in one sentence. I can't even imagine a more perfect sentence to show how misaligned your priorities are if your goal is actual political power. Why would I want to do mutual aid when it would spur all of my viewers on to actually do better in all of their communities? I'd lose all of my audience. I'd have no money. Like, how perfect is this? It is the most perfect sentence I've ever seen in my life for somebody to just out themselves as being not in politics for power, but just for entertainment purposes. What? This is a defeating, and also, can we be real? Be real? Who's gonna turn, can you show me- I the, think Lucius Fox or whatever is the guy, and even he realizes how fucking stupid this is. Mutual what? aid streamers? Of people that just sit there discussing mutual aid all day. What are you talking about? You can do You can diversify your content. You can talk about more than just that. Yep. What? Okay, guys. I, I, I mean, and my politics is a socialist politics, which means I want to exercise power for the benefit of the worker, the disenfranchised. As long as he still makes money off of it, by the way. The minority, the poor. As, as long as they're not too poor that they can't subscribe to a stream or gift subs, right? Not too poor, okay. I have nothing in common with Bastiat the gas attorney. Well, of course you don't. That's because Bastiat actually passed the bar. He's an actual attorney. What would you, what would you have in common with him? Well, he's, an, he's a lawyer, right? <laughs> what? Oh, that's probably not the person he was going for, sorry. I have nothing in common with the anti-left N-word advocate. N-word advocate. How much you want to bet? I probably saw face-to-face -face and interacted positively with more black people in Georgia than Mike has in his entire fucking life. I... No, never mind. That's too edgy of a joke. I love black people, okay? So, like, fuck off. And if that's what your politics is, you just stand for a whole bunch of people, you're an asshole. Remember when he, uh, remember when he had that clip of Irrelevant? And he was like, look at this fucking nerd Irrelevant. Looks like Steve Urkel. <laughs> remember that? Or was it a Steve Urkel clip and he said, looks like Irrelevant. Where was it? Link the clip. So anyway, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing. Uh, I just wanted to do a little call-out segment here, because it was funny. Yeah, it, it was funny. Thank you for this. I appreciate this. There's so much gold in this. I like, I like knowing that... Because <clears throat> I, I try not to think too highly of myself, but seeing the fact that he must be visiting my subreddit every night. This guy probably reads my, his, my subreddit more than I do. I wonder how many people hate me. Like, Demon Mama. I wonder how many people are, like, constantly like, obsessed. These might be some of my highest, like, viewer hour people. This might be some of my best viewer retention. People talk about burning bridges. I'm not burning bridges. I'm building fans, okay? Because these are some of my most dedicated 
my most ardent viewers. These people will consume more content than any other living person. Uh, also, Destiny Stan started uh, uh, brigading this comment reply. Oh, no. They started brig 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 brigading of something here. Can't remember. Not the likes. Mike, you're unbearable. I'm here to make the scumbags mad. Um, oh, here. They brigaded this tweet. Actually, wait. Can somebody in chat make me oh, two clips, two separate clips of one saying, um, of one with Mike saying politics is to gain power, blah, 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 and then another one with him saying he won't do mutual aid because he'll lose all his viewers? I would actually really like that. I, I can shoot that off to a guy to tweet. I think it would be a funny tweet. Thanks. They brigaded this. They posted this at DGG. I said, you mean Destiny is obsessed with me? And look at this. I immediately brigaded it. And I you mean beat Destiny in debate so bad he's still obsessed 14 months later. Damn. Who are my... Who pops up? Twitch.tv slash... Code Miko slash... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have, I don't know if I've ever, I don't actually know if I've ever watched a stream before. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I, I must have at least the songs up here, right? Oh my God. I need to keep tabs on these people more. Fuck. Expo. Listen, I don't have time to watch streams, okay? I don't know where these guys get all this fucking time. Are you on a new computer? Yeah, I am, but it, it should carry over all the Google, um, all the uh, auto completes or whatever. I think. Because I don't think I've watched Code Miko on this before. I only watched her back when she was hanging out with Mel. I was like, okay, clearly, yeah, they're not obsessed with watching my- True, I watch Mike on incognito mode. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize All Relevant was at the DNC. I didn't realize All Relevant was at the DNC in 96. <sighs> oh, there he is. I found him. <sighs> Yikes. Mike's braver than me on some of these jokes. I'll give him props for that. My argument was for in private, okay? Whew. Every move. They're not obsessed. Part two. Now watch this one. Wait. Are there more? Didn't expect you to make racist jokes. What? I was calling him a nerd. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that Come on. I was just calling him a nerd. I don't actually see skin color. <laughs> Why would you try to play this one? Calling him a fucking nerd. I was calling him an Urkel. What's wrong? Uh, are you saying that? If, if, you could call me an Urkel if you want. <laughs> Stumbles right into another hole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you woke scolds really are the worst. I, I, I was using the real N word, the nerd. The nerd. By the way, nerd is the only N word I'm ever going to need, folks. <sighs> Quick pivot, pivot, pivot. And this is like a Mike's greatest hit. Maybe I should hate watch Marvel. Uh, this is actually kind of fun. <clears throat> and I'm glad that you hopped on swiftly because when I was uh, when I was approached for that panel, uh, I was like, "You got to get K swiftly in because you're exactly what you know." A lot of us have been looking for someone who's educated, but also like you know, frankly, more diverse. It's, it's like necessary because it is the white debate lord fucking context always. Right. You know, like all relevant, the guy we were debating oh, God, I don't is, <laughs> is, you know, one of those, uh, it doesn't break that uh, white supremacist uh, assumptions. Doesn't break that white supremacist assumptions? Wait, I don't think I've seen this clip before. What the fuck does that even mean? Wait, do you guys think Mike is actually racist? Not like said a word or whatever, because I've never given a fuck about that shit. I, I actually, I kind of wonder. I kind of wonder, actually. Holy shit. Or maybe he's just trying to say he didn't think Irrelevant was going to vote for Biden. Maybe that's what he was saying. Maybe that's what he meant.
been watching my every move. That's weird. And then here's the thing. I was like, how obsessed is is that community with me? Like, you know, am I am I wrong? Like, maybe I'm the asshole, right? Like, maybe I'm the I'm the asshole. Like, you know, maybe they aren't obsessed. You know, maybe they aren't, you know, obsessed. Um. Oh, so then I, I went over to Destiny's. So he's typing on his other monitor or whatever, trying to find threads, I'm guessing, about us, like, talking about him. We do shit on him. It's funny, too. The subreddit, and I was like, they're, you know, they're probably not brigading and obsessed. Oh, wait! Uh, Mike from PA! Ten hours ago! Too much. I'm in the money! <laughs> he, wait, he did it again! One year ago, one year- these were when we were actively debating. Yeah, of course people are gonna be making- Oh no, he fucked up again! Did he think it was gonna be a whole bunch of shit? Like, recently? Rip. You could at least scroll down. If you're gonna search on the other monitor, at least scroll down first. I'm in the money! Boop, 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 I'm in the money. Ba, ba, ba. I wonder how much of these are even about him, because I know the Reddit search is really weird. Boop, boop. Obviously, like, the ones boop. in the titles would be. Post videos of Destiny getting owned for supporting Biden. Oh, that's going to have some mic shit. Boop. I'm in. An open letter to Hasanabi. Destiny's becoming a bit too angry. The Slate Star Codex, Scott Alexander Drama Explained. In the money. Ba -ba -ba -da. He should have searched for red redacted by redacted. Ba -ba 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 or redacted of redacted. Ba -ba 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 -ba. By the way, my favorite thing about searching Mike from PA is Destiny's community being like, well, I don't like Mike, but he is right about X. Wait, when does this happen? What? I don't like Mike, but he is right about this. Uh, Destiny Mike from PA comments from a master's student in industrial economics. Mike mentions the dimension of productivity. This is correct. It's important when discussing competitive advantage. Mike explains how American workers are more productive than outsourced workers in less developed countries, which is true. These aren't things that I don't think I disagreed on. I'm pretty sure American workers are incredibly productive. Of course. We Mike says it doesn't matter if the worker from a less developed country is cheaper since they are less productive, which is false, but not very important. I'll explain. In other words, he's saying, I'm right. I, first of all, I might- How many months old is this conversation? I've overworked it. I said that if a- That's probably not what my argument- Yeah, this thread ready. Think about it for a second. Yeah, maybe. It was. But the point is, he goes through this. The guy with the actual credentials, Mike is right. Mike is right. Mike is right. Mike Destiny is says is demonstrably false. Blah, 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 blah. But that, this is a standard, by the way, Destiny fan base obsessed with Mike from PA Post. Hmm. This was your TTP debate, so this was your fourth debate in 2019. Damn. So this was like two years ago? Hmm. Weird. And I didn't even search for redacted, right? This is, by the way, Destiny says he has a, I don't allow people to brigade. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't allow people to brigade. Destiny being left as a redacted, not being redacted. Redacted from redacted. This That redacted up there, by the way, was about, um, what was about Ellie Moon and the Bob Seven shit? This is another thing they, this is another meme. Red Redacted. I don't think all these redacted are even Mike. Like, I think that last redacted was about Vosh, wasn't it? This is redacted one is the Bob Seven shit. Um, this is Mike. This redacted is about Vosh. This is another thing they, this is another meme. Redacted banned from Twitch. Redacted from redacted. This is what, this is a picture from when I ran for office. They found a debate from when I ran for office, stole it from apparently PBS, up stole it uploaded it and it's been watched 2325 times my own community doesn't do this shit is that a cell phone <laughs> <laughs> so
So when I say they're obsessed, it's not me just making it up. So like, here's me interrupting him with a hand gesture. Um, <laughs> Dude, being alpha is so important to him. But here's like a here's a fun fact. Anybody that like unironically like tries to do like the alpha shit or whatever, or like unironically talks about like alpha beta shit, are all by their own definitions betas because they are obsessed with how other people view them and they have no self esteem. And it's like, holy... I did the hand thing, guys. Holy shit, dude. Holy fucking shit, dude. Still pathetic. Still pathetic, dude. Well, my glasses are terrible in that picture. Like, everything about this is cringe, okay? I'm not gonna lie. My, my drip was bad, okay? The suit, you know, doesn't fit very well. It's a Bernie Sanders-style fit. Like, listen. But I was a nerd who cared about issues and politics and shit. This is before I got totally radicalized. Mike from Redacted actually doxing people. Mmm, mmm. So, the Mike from PA, I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Da 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 da. Why is it breaking? Like, like, that is, that's pathetic, dude. That's pathetic. If you couldn't, can't explain how Destiny is a fascist, maybe you shouldn't call him a fascist. The word loses meaning when you throw it around. Uh-oh. Wait, who's saying that? Is that a Destiny fan? Destiny is a fascist. It is. Oh, I don't recognize the name. Uh-oh. Fascist, maybe you shouldn't call him a fascist. The word loses meaning when you throw it around. At a sock dem you disagree with? He is not a sock dem, you fucking dipshit. Destiny is a right-wing liberal. Now, I'm not using liberal in the sense that you use it, like a, an American newspaper. I'm talking about his political views are not to the left. They are to the right. A so-called classical liberal. You know what would actually be a lot of fun? First of all, like 98% of Americans are liberal in the sense that Mike is talking about. Uh, now, maybe he thinks 98% of Americans are right wing. Actually, he probably does think that because he's a fucking moron. If Mike ever wants to have a debate, over whether or not I'm a fascist or a right winger, I would actually be. That would actually be a fun debate. I'll I'll accept that if he wants to. That would actually be a good meme. He has some occasional like, you know, socially progressive takes, but he's not even a sock dem. He doesn't believe in the labor movement. He doesn't believe in a robust social safety net because every time a specific policy is proposed, he comes out against it. Both of those are not true. I think labor unions are cool. Helps against monopsony of power. Corporations, especially when labor can't adequately negotiate against uh, capital for wages. I think labor is awesome. Um, also, I am in favor of social safety nets. That's why I'm a big fan of universal health care and expanded things like uh, the earned income tax credit or unemployment. I think like the carriers and the hero stuff was really good in 2020. Um, I don't know what else I can be in favor of, but um, okay. He's a personal hypocrite when it comes to taxes. Like, come on, man. And he absolutely supports fascist street violence. I pay all of my taxes. I don't support fascist street violence. I don't think self-defense is fascist street violence, but I mean, okay. Against the left. That makes him, if not a fascist himself, fascist adjacent and supportive of fascist movements. He defended Kyle Rittenhouse and said that Kyle Rittenhouse was- If, cause I know Mike is probably listening to this on a hidden account. Um, if you wanna be really smart, cause I know that like sounding smart is obviously the most you can hope for. Try to say like he's orthogonal to fascism. It makes you sound like fucking huge brained. Um, I'd recommend that for your next little tirade that you're going on a stream about me. Was a racist, and then a week later, Kyle Rittenhouse was caught in a bar with Proud Boys making the white power gesture. The white, the white power okay sign. Oh no. If I defended Kyle Rittenhouse's character, this would be a huge blow to my credibility. Good thing I said over and over and over again that I thought Kyle Rittenhouse was a fucking moron. Otherwise, I'd be super threatened by this. 
Stop saying is a sock dem. You're making sock dems look bad. And they don't need any help. Yesterday in Lumi's chat, we just concluded that Pepe ID is your personal antagonist. I mean, it's fun to... It's fun to make them mad. Because, chat... The best... The best life... The best thing in life... Is living well. The best thing in life is living well. That's Braxa. Damn C U H. How you doing? You know? My, I you know, in the last 90 days our channel has grown 156.3%. And that's well after the election. So, and, and, and by the way, chat, you know how I knew all this? You know how I knew all this? I went over to the chat. You know how I knew all this? You know how I knew all this? I went over to the, uh... Oh, okay, buddy, comrade, is that Hassan's subreddit, or is that just like a left-leaning subreddit? I went over to the Reddit, the old Destiny Reddit, Cause I was, I became aware. Like I can always detect when I'm being brigaded by the des by Destiny's community. Um, I can always tell. Um, I can always tell when I'm being brigaded, right? Um, but here, it drives me insane. That after all we learned about him, he has managed to become a semi successful streamer. At least I've seen him break 1K viewers, and I swore I saw him at 3K. My average is 2K. Mike is a definition of bad faith and a horrible person to learn politics from. True. The fact that he, Vosh, and Hassan are growing worries me. That politics on Twitch has officially crossed from left of center to full on lefty audience zone. Basically another bastion for Twitter lefties. Maybe it's always been this way, but since politics has been, had its second explosion of viewers in the past year, it feels like a lot more lefties than before. The good streamers like, I'm really important. Bastion or even someone like RGR, just small fish in the... <laughs> what they mean by this is sycophants of destiny. Sick, pathetic sycophants of destiny. Your movie sucks hosted you? Oh, what's up? Uh, I call him Adam, by the way. We're on a first name basis. But thank you for the... For the host. Um, we're watching a guy um, that regularly reviews my content right now. Just seeing, we're just checking in on him, see how he's doing. Who never challenge him ever. He averages over 2K and has over 4K subs and had close to 6K a few weeks ago. Hassan and AOC brought a lot of lefties to Twitch and Mike has capitalized. Wow, they're not obsessed. Wow. I think he actually does read my subreddit more than I do. That's impressive. Maybe we should make Mike a mod. Maybe he can keep tabs on what's going on in there. Wow. literally doing a pretty you know what price prize loss let me say you're doing a pretty good analysis of twitch wow uh i'm glad you're you're obsessed though you know exactly what my uh sub count is and when are you still here he doesn't seem to go on panels too much anymore to my knowledge i know that hassan hosted him hassan has not hosted me for over a year hassan has not hosted or rated me for over a year he we are friendly He's brought me on his show a couple times in the past year. And, you know, he speaks nicely of me. And he, you know, he reads my texts and and he, uh, I'm a VIP. And he seems pretty positively disposed from me. But as far as, like, hardcore support, nah, dude. Uh, I found you from a cutie from Hassan stream. Exactly. But, like, you came here because you saw me and you were like, oh, Mike seems pretty interesting, and you went and watched me. It's not like Hassan is hardcore supporting me. Hassan is a friend of mine or a, a positive acquaintance, a positive coworker. I don't want to overemphasize our relationship. We have a positive, friendly relationship, and we work together when it's appropriate, and we support each other generally, and, and we're friendly. We have a bridge, so to speak. But, like, the idea that 
Hassan is the one who's just hardcore supporting me and it's not my hard work as well as Hassan's efforts. Absolutely. But it's I also have work. relationships with TYT. <laughs> I have relationships with MR. I have relationships with real politicians. Like, and I put a lot of work in. You know? That's why people watch my stream. True. I found you through Hassan and now you're two or three. And Hassan is definitely a big... Hassan and Will definitely helped this channel grow without a doubt. Um, so I don't think I found you because I watched the song, but I told you I found you on the top of Twitch one day and was like, yes. Yeah, exactly. Twitch all. Remember who the first streamer was that helped this channel grow? Don't forget, guys. Who was it? It was Destiny. Don't forget. Also helped push you, a lot of you here. So I'm sorry to go through this for so long. I apologize for spending 50 minutes on what amounts to Malting Pepe on La, a tier list. You know, making fun <laughs> of, um... What, what amounts to just kind of making fun of random people in Destiny's community and shit. But it's just pathetic, man. True. It's pathetic how obsessed they are. Um, so, I didn't even know you were in the election stream with Hassan and I watched it. I found you independently of Hassan later. Oh, I didn't know. That. Oh, wow, really? I was in two streams with Hassan. You are more in the weeds. Hassan is like doing more entertainment. So Hassan does, you know, Hassan's a good streamer. I watch a lot of, I watched almost 600 hours. Careful, don't buy the hand that feeds you. I was Hassan last year, so. That's a, that's a lot for someone who also streamed nearly 2,000. Wait, what did he say? You are more in the weeds. Hassan is like doing more entertainment. So Hassan does, you know, Hassan's a good streamer. I watch a lot of, I watched almost. Did he say 60 or 600? 600 hours of Hassan. Holy shit! 600 hours? What was the name of the email for your recap for how many for how much you watched? How the fuck do these guys have the time to do this shit? I need to take time off. These were my most watched streams of last year. Six hundred hours on Hassan's stream means that Mike was watching it for two hours a day. Holy shit. On last year, so that's a, that's a lot for someone who also streamed nearly two thousand. Your conversation with other streamers are always insightful and excellent because you need, when you need out on policy, etc., is when you're the strongest. Originally consider you a son babysitting service, but I legit enjoy your stream. Thank you. Um, funny DG likes IRI when he used to call Demon and his viewers toxic. Well, see, then, then IRI, who, who's irrelevant? I mean, he's irrelevant. Like, this is IRI. I, an IRI gets hardcore supported. Damn, dude. Imagine obsessing over numbers so much once you make it. I really do think that, like, levels of fame show you who people truly are. One million percent. And the funny thing is, is that Mike is exactly the kind of person, if Mike were to fall down to the triple-digit viewer range, he would come crawling back. He one million percent would be like, hey, like, I know we, you know, had our blah, blah, blah. It was all fun and games. Like, do you want to do more content or whatever? One million percent. When people are this obsessive, Hassan does this too. Um, and Trainwrecks actually does this too to some extent, where they, like, they project so much their obsession with the numbers um, about how important it is to make sure that they're on top or that they have a certain viewer base and that people beneath them are below or under or less than them. Like, jeez. Like, this is IRI. I, an IRI gets hardcore supported by Destiny's community. Hardcore supported by Destiny's community. Hardcore, guys. Hardcore. Hardcore. You see all these, like, huge spikes? These are big raids. I don't get that shit. I think the biggest raid I've gotten recently was from Hutch. And then before that, like four months ago, was was a will raid that I was up at 3 a.m. for. So, like, come on, man. Or, like, Bastiat 
has been platformed on Vosh's show, which I have not, on Destiny's constantly, and has been hardcore, um, hardcore supported by people like Destiny. Hardcore. These are these are Destiny raids. You see these spikes up to a thousand viewer average days, right? So both of those people get way more support than I do. I found you through Vosh. I watched the Hippie Dippy podcast real time. I came to check it out. It took me a month to figure out who his son was. I, um, and by the way, I don't know why Vosh stands are like trying to throw shade on me in little cowardly backward ways all the time. I have done nothing to Vosh. Is it because like he's trying to worm his way back in with Destiny's good graces? Like what is this weird fucking, what is going on with him? For a little bit, probably, yeah. Actually. I agree with a lot of your takes and agree that Destiny gives awful takes sometimes, but I think it's better optics if you leftists don't throw around fascists as a buzzword because then no one recognizes a legitimate fascist like Trump because it's crying wolf. I mean, Destiny supported Kyle Rittenhouse and white redneck militias that went three months later went and destroyed the Capitol or attacked the Capitol. His Jeez, what a stretch. Oh, my God. Wow. Now I've supported the Capitol riots. Crazy how that works, huh? He supported white redneck militias like the Proud Boys and you yep, know the three percenters yep. or the Oath Keepers to keep down those Black Lives Matter protesters who were burning down Wendy's where a black man was shot or burning down a pl pre police precinct that strangled a black man to death on the in, in front of a crowd. Those were the those were the group. Oh, that's why you need to mow them down to protect that Wendy's. Where a black man was murdered because he fell asleep in his car at a drive-thru. Or George Floyd was murdered for having a counterfeit $20. Okay, real quick. Man, I hate, I hate, man, fuck. That black guy at the Wendy's shouldn't have been shot, okay? That was fucked up. But the black guy at Wendy's didn't get shot because he fell asleep in his car. He got shot because he wrestled with one of the cops tried to jack the taser from another one. I think fired the taser at the other cop as he ran away, and then he got shot in the back, which is fucked up. I don't know why the cop shot him. It was clearly fucked up. But the guy was not killed sleeping in his car. He was killed as he was running away from the cop after stealing the dude's taser and shooting it at him. Did, did he shoot it at him, or did he try to shoot it and fail? I, I, I don't remember 100%. May, maybe he tried to shoot it and fail, but he, like, he stole the dude's taser, and like he did shoot it. Yeah, like it's a little bit of a little different than being killed in his car, but, okay. Or Bill. Destiny supported those people. Those, the, the three percenters, the Oath Keepers, the Proud Boys, that attack Black Lives Matter. Cause he's, this dumb fuck thinks that property is worth more than human life. Property is not worth more than human life, guys. Also, by the way, eat the rich. Also, by the way, violent revolution to secure our material conditions. Also, by the way, the rich oppresses us using capital and material conditions. But also, property is not worth life, by the way, guys. Not in some particular edge case, but in the general case. So that's pretty damn close to fascism as far as I'm concerned. Close that has, by the way, that has nothing to do with fascism whatsoever. Like property rights and defense of property and scaring property, that's a, that's a pretty liberal position. Like, like it's just liberalism. Um, not only is that liberalism, I'm pretty sure that there are probably tenets with socialism as well that would probably, I guess it depends on how you want to go down that, but the idea that like property being stolen from you by, um, you know, capital bourgeois that are stealing, like the whole exploitation of labor is in a sense a type of property theft. But I mean, like, that's kind of funny, but I guess fascism is just people don't like. It's enough for government work. They think you're a tanky. Tanky Navash is anyone who knows more about politics or theory than him. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, let me just say this. I legitimately don't understand how you could think I'm a tanky. There is not one comment that I've made that could substantially be argued that I'm a tanky in the sense that it's actually used. What? Because I know USSR history and I just don't mindlessly repeat the Black Book of Communism? Or what? I've never heard Vaj talk bad about you. I think, I think he thinks you. I don't think he. I think he's doing the destiny thing of don't talk about Mike because 
I don't want to platform him. I, I like he he legitimately. Oh my god! Is Mike just mad at Vosh because Vosh wouldn't invite him to a debate? Oh, that's so sad. I think he's legitimately ass mad about Vosh just because Vosh wouldn't have him on a debate. <laughs> oh no. Treats me more of a leper than Nazis. Because for him, he can do well with Nazis. But for me, platforming me might get me viewers, which is bad according to Destiny. So in order to get into Destiny's good graces, you don't want to platform me. He pretty much doesn't platform me um, at all, um, which is weird. Um, well, can I get a definition of tanky? Basically, it means people who supported the uh, the USSR's brutal re uh, repression of of some democratic socialist movements that happened in the Warsaw Pact bloc in the Eastern Bloc. So the Soviet Union did sent in tanks to suppress democratic socialist movements in the, the Eastern Bloc in the 50s. And tankies were people that defended that. Basically, they defended the USSR using repression against other socialists. Those are tankies. Now, it's a term that literally is completely irrelevant to today's politics because the USSR does not exist. How many actual fascist regi regimes exist by definition of what a fascist regime is? Is there is there right now, without saying like Turkey is fascist, or actually I shouldn't even ask that because I guess I, people will say like the U.S. is fascist. Sometimes it's used for people who do um, revisionism around the Hollandor um, famine in and the USSR as well. The famine. Oh, no. Nowadays, tanking just means authoritarian left. I mean, now it's expanded so much to be meaningless. Oh, no. By the way, Destiny's a fascist. <laughs> and Nazi, I guess. But also... Pretty sure he'd be willing to have a chat with you after he got back on Twitch. Anytime. It doesn't have to be negative, but I could just say I'm feeling the I feel the negativity from that community, at least from the top. You know, I feel oh. like there is a negativity that's associated with me, quote, being bad faith with destiny. And then when I say what was I bad faith on? Nothing but silence. Normal Finkelstein on Trudon said his mother was freed by Russia. And if you ever said anything bad about the USSR, she would call you a traitor. <laughs> nice. Call me a tanky, but I don't think the Hallam door was intentional. Uh, I think there is evidence that it was. Oh, Mike's not a tanky. Nice job, Mike. Have you seen the newer Destiny and Vosh combos? They don't seem to like each other. I think that Destiny doesn't like Vosh because Destiny is a jealous, petty piece of shit. And Vosh doing well offends his ego. Definitely. Because he's the walking definition of a Napoleonic complex. Watch the projection here, boys. And so Vosh wants to be friends with Destiny. Because he admires Destiny. And I think if you asked him that, he would admit it. But De Destiny doesn't want to be Vouch's friend, but Vouch wants to be his friend. And if he has a problem with me saying that, please let me know. Please, I want to debate. Please, I need the viewers. Please. Please debate me. Vosh, Do you think they don't platform please, you because you're an up-and-comer? That please. would make a lot of sense to Destiny. No, Destiny is opposed to the left. And he, think, he knows that I'm too effective at debating him and refuting his dumbass takes Please. that he's scared basically he knows that if he brings me on for a debate and he tries to bring up some fucking thing he googled five minutes ago i'm gonna have the rebuttal to it so he can't like beat me in a debate on policy so he's got to do the other thing which is attack me personally circulate scurrilous and slanderous rumors and just kind of remember how every single topic we debated on regarding election outcomes i was 100 percent correct on and he was 100 percent incorrect on despite the fact that he reminded me multiple times that i was just a stupid video game streamer and he was mostly right about that i did spend most of my time playing video games it ruined my credibility and also signal it is to his community that they're not welcome in his if they listen to anything i say it's a social power move 
because he knows he can't win on, you know, in the marketplace of ideas. This is, he's very effective at this kind of shit. Um, I like your content. Vash's community is filled with a lot of people that hate Destiny like me. Yeah, true, 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 true. I, by the way. I All right, this is boring. Is this, are we done with this? What is this? Who I want or who's going to win? Who you think is going to win? <sighs> Fuck. I think Biden. <laughs> Don pointed to you, how do you have to pick one? <laughs> who I want or who's going to win? Who you think is going to win? What an idiot. Fuck. What an I'm idiot. I'm sorry, these never get old. Idiot. What a stupid fuckhead. What a moron. What a dipshit. Good one. Hey, you can't say he wasn't informed because two months ago I told him for three hours. Why this clip was so good before whichever one of you dumb fucks out of this stupid fucking music. God, you guys ruin memes. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. So if a guy pays for my tab. I think they, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting your attention.